Meet Jane Eyre. Jane is a young orphan growing up in her aunt's house and is severely abused emotionally by all and physically by her cousin, John. As Jane ages, she is whisked off by carriage to Lowood, a charity school for young girls. At Lowood, Jane meets the headmaster, Brocklehurst, the devilish Mrs. Scatcherd, and Miss Temple, the nicest and most caring of the lot. She befriends a young Helen Burns, and their relationship matures Jane. Then she dies. After growing older and becoming a teacher, Jane grows bored of her life and becomes a governess of Thornfield, a mansion owned by Rochester, whom she falls in love with. If I said you had a good body, would you hold it against me? I need a hero. My turn-offs are rude people, mean people, and people who aren't nice. Rochester proposes to Jane, and they are set to get married. Yes! At the wedding, a horrible secret is unveiled. Rochester is hiding something in the attic. What is it? A dinosaur? A rocket ship? No! It's Rochester's deranged wife, Bertha! I don't think so. No. No way. Gravely hurt by this realization, Jane leaves Rochester in a fit of sadness. She loves him, but what he did is not right. As if karma was out to get him, Rochester's beautiful mansion is burnt to cinders by Bertha, and she dies along with the blaze. Meanwhile, Jane is reduced to begging for bread on the street. Cold and near death, Jane is discovered by Sinjin, a seemingly kind priest, also Jane's cousin. Sinjin takes Jane under his wing and nurses her back to health. No. I don't think so. No. Sinjin asks Jane to marry him. They are not in love, but she would make a suitable wife for a missionary trip to India. Jane does not love him, however, and refuses. Jane returns to her first love, Rochester. He has a new estate called Ferndean. Jane expresses her sustained love for him, and it is returned. Jane and Rochester get married and live happily ever after. Fantastic! <laughs>